com. An open question for both Natasha and uh, Olive. What did, how did the gamers of the family of your families reacted when you told them, "Hey, I'm playing these two iconic characters. You're playing these two iconic characters on the Halo series." How did these, how did the gamers of the family of your families reacted? It's interesting because <laughs> it's it's partially generational and actually it's also not generational. What, what was curious about that is I, I have friends and, and my husband used to play um, as, assiduously. Um, and then I'll, I'll know, you know, some younger people, uh, friends of mine who are like, what? Mm. Uh, what? <laughs> so it it's... If you're in, you're really in. That's what I discovered about Halo. No one's like, I think I heard of that. Mm. <laughs> it's either, oh my God, you're kidding me. Yeah. Or it's just a blank expression and someone has no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. Um, um, yeah, oh. my, uh, my family and my friends, I think, still haven't gotten over it. I think they're still... Every time a new thing comes out, they're like, oh, my gosh, Halo. I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's been, we've been, do been doing this for, for a while now. But I think that it's, it's just to, to take a game this iconic and this epic. And like Natasha said, that is just played in, within so many generations. This is it, it's a massive uh, it's a big thing and it's a big deal. And it's uh, super exciting. Thank you. Happy Media Villa from Kitticolos.com. Uh, open question for both Steven and Kiki. Halo is such a big world, and we can see it on the, on, on the, on the first example of episode. We see it on the on how on how perfect the you know all the all the graphics and CGI is. How in, how important was for the two of you to make sure that every single detail when it comes to recreating this world work. I mean, if you could be uh, in our Wednesday <laughs> calls um, and, and the calls you have even before Wednesday, where we go through every single visual effect shot, every single shot with a screen or a logo, and we micromanage every little bit because we know we want to get it right, and we know that people who care are going to be able to freeze frame and find things and look for, <laughs> look for mistakes or look for Easter eggs. Hopefully, well, they find more Easter eggs than mistakes. So, no, it's, it's everything you see on screen – because of the, we're in this 26th century world, everything had to be conceived and built. And whether it's a set, prop, a wardrobe thing, or CGI, um, it took a lot of work. And so um, we're just so thrilled to see it come together ourselves because literally it's iteration after iteration of, of checking a plasma sword. Or does that look explosion look right? Or is that, does that alien look right? Or everything. Um, it was just uh, an enormous feat with a team's you know, Seattle, L.A., London, Toronto, I mean, all over the world trying to build this thing. So uh, a great undertaking, and I think it pays off. And, and you know, when you're world building, because I think you have to look at this both from a Halo audience perspective and all of the details that they're going to be um, mm -hmm. scrutinizing, but also from a new audience perspective, when you're world building, those de details are so critical to people buying into your universe, right? right. You, can't, you can't miss details or have the kinds of inconsistencies that will erode credibility in this world you're trying to get them to buy into and become part of. And so I think from a, a Halo franchise perspective, there's a level of detail that fans want and deserve. And then from a new audience perspective, there's a level of detail that needs to make that world something believable and something right. that they'll buy into. And, uh, you know, the BFX Feels call really, that, yeah. that Steve was referring to, you know, I, I was saying the other day, there is literally no shot too short for something to not be seen. Like, every single frame will, will be scrutinized. Thank you. Rafi Media Villa from Criticolobos.com. First off, congratulations to the two of you. My question is for Jen. Um, I want to pick it back on another on a previous question. 20 years with the character, how do you, do you feel the pressure of maintaining or kind of fresh, being fresh? in each, you know, the different version that you, you present? Yes, it? yes, I feel great pressure to remain true and authentic to this character and continue to explore her in a way that is respectful and loving. Yeah, I feel great pressure with what we have created because I adore her. So she is very important to me. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.